Gentlemen, welcome to my desk and today I need your help and where I need your help is working out where or how I'm going to be fitting uh, one of the Team Legit motor mounts. Now if you haven't seen these, they, they run them on the Team Legit wings over in the US. Now what I've been and bought is a Zack Combat flying wing and I also bought the extension block in the middle. So I've, I've only got half the, the flying wing on my desk and as we can see it's a fair old size and I did buy the extension block for in the middle. So that's about 15 centimeters wide and you can see my plan here to to extend the middle of the wing out so that I can obviously put like the run cam up on the front and I can mount an FPV camera and a battery compartment over here as well. But where I'm struggling and where I need your help, because obviously you guys are far more experienced than me, because I've only been flying model aircraft for about three months now, is that what I'd like to do is mount this, mount, mount this motor mount in. And the way which I've seen Jeff from 7 Demo 7 do it, is what he did is that he cut out the center hole like so, so that these um, drill holes are... Uh, available so that the motor mount can go on that way or that way round. But my, my concern is, is that if I push that in there, or you imagine that's mounted inside the back of this wing, there isn't much material on both sides. And even if I was to run a carbon fiber rod, say uh, horizontally across that, if you can see that on the, on the camera, is that I don't think that's gonna give like really good support long term. So what I was first thinking, and this, this is where I need your help, do I mount it in the middle, so cut in and then actually mount it right down the center line of the back of the, the center section, and apologies, my hands are in the way, so let me move this around. Do I mount it so it's in horizontally like that, okay, and forego the extra bit of width, and it, if I just put plenty of glue on it and maybe put another carbon fiber rod, it will be fine. Or do I mount this on the top, so that's the back of the wing, put the plate in there like so, in fact let me just turn that around so you can see it a little bit better, and then using some of the excess material which came with the centre section, mount that on the top and then glue this back down to the main centre block below and then shave off with a knife either side and a, a little sanding block. Uh, which then gives me, if I turn that round, that would give me much, much more foam, thus much, much more strength for the actual motor mount, which has been sandwiched in the middle. But with that said, if I take a look at the Texumo, is that if I can bring this round, I'm trying to get the angle right on the screen, on the, the video for you, is that, I don't know if you can see this, and let me grab my knife here and just try and do it, is that here, you'll see that the thrust angle of the motor on the Texumo, which is a similar size wing, is that the motor's pointing down like that, so it's pushing the nose up. So instead of using the thicker bit of excess, which I've got, which came with it, do I do the reverse of that and make the motor mount underneath, like so, so it's underneath, and then sandwich the motor mount like that, thus that the motor's pointing downwards, and then carve something out here on the bottom. What, what do you reckon? I, I'm not 100% sure when it comes to thrust angles. Can you let me know in the comment section underneath this video? Uh, I'm genuinely stumped on this one. I've got the glue which arrives tomorrow, and I'd love to get this one glued up, and I'd love to know what you reckon is the best way of doing this, because I genuinely don't feel that I've got enough meat on the back of this wing for us to fit that motor mount down the center of there. You can see that I've got it maximum, or its thickest point, we've got a centimeter above and a centimeter below. And of course, when I go and stick a three mil aluminium plate in there, the, I'm gonna lose a chunk of that as well. And it's gonna be pretty thin down here on, this, uh, on, the, on the rear edge. So with that said, uh, I'd, I'd love your input. I, I'm kind of stuck on this one. This is why I'm putting it on you balls. And like I said, you guys are the experts. Can you let me know what you reckon I should do? Uh, and just leave me a note down in the comments section below. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios.